I'm Ms. Charmette. I'm the children's librarian here at the South Columbus Public Library. And our Simple Step story time today is about the alphabet. First though, we're going to talk about the Simple Steps. The Simple Steps are five activities that adults and kids can do together so that kids will be ready to learn how to read. And the Simple Steps are read, write, sing, talk, and play. And so we can remember these simple steps. We're going to sing them to the tune of bingo. Read, write, sing, top, play. Read, write, sing, top, play. Read, write, sing, top, play. Make a reader every day. Today we're talking about the alphabet. Do you know which letter the alphabet that most children learn first? It's the first letter of their name. And my name is Charmette, and the first letter of my name is C. So what is the first letter of your name? Very good. So in this story that we're going to read, it's called Oops, Pounce, Quick Run, an alphabet caper. And each word in the story starts with a different letter of the alphabet. Oops, Pounce. Quick, run! An Alphabet Caper by Mike Tui. Asleep. Ball. I feet Grr. Help Oh Chase Woof Woof Missing? Nowhere. Oops. Pounce. Quick. Two dog. Unwrap. Very cool. XO, XO, hugs and kisses. Mwah. Do you think they're going to be friends? Yes! And after that busy day, now what are they going to do? Z -z 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 -z. 
The end. All right, so now we're gonna sing a song, which is one of our simple steps. And the song is Bingo. Remember at the beginning of the story time when we sang the simple steps to the tune of Bingo? Well, this is gonna be the real song, Bingo. So we're gonna play a little game with it. When you watch the song, you're gonna see the letters of the word Bingo, B-I-N-G-O. And for each verse, we're gonna take away one letter and clap. So, have fun with that, clapping for each letter that disappears. There was a farmer, had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh. B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer, had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh. I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer, had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh. N-G-O, N-G-O. N-G-O and Bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer, had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh. G-O, G-O, G-O and Bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer, had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer, had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh. Bingo was his name. Oh. Okay, this is the alphabet beat. First, clap your hands and stomp your feet. Everybody do the alphabet beat. Apple, 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 A, A, A. Apple, 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 A, A, A. Wave your arms high. Your arms low, the alphabet B is the way to go. Blue, 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 B, B, B. Blue, 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 B, B, B. Move to the left, move to the right. The alphabet B is way out of sight. Car, 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 C, C, C. Shout it out loud. Whisper down low. Just one more alphabet beat to go. Dog, 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 D, D, D. Dog, 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 D, D, D. Give a high five to a dear bye friend. The alphabet beat. child for letter recognition to go along with the ABC stories. I've taken some eight and a half by eleven paper and three hole punched. Um, I used stuff you'll have around the house or can easily find. Um, magazines would make a good one, newspapers, old catalogs, anything that you don't mind cutting up. So what I've done is I've made a cover um, with the letters from those sources. I've also tabbed 
each one of the pages for the de different letters, and I put the lowercase and uppercase letters there, so it's easier to find a page. The way that I envisioned this was uh, maybe put it in a three ring binder since we punched the three holes. That way you could add or take out as you see fit. But if you don't have a three ring binder or that's not your thing, um, I thought simple way to attach them would be with just some pieces of yarn or ribbon. And it makes it really nice. It's also a good activity for fine motor skills. What I've done is looked at some magazines and I've pulled out some examples. So you could give the child the magazine and if they know their A's, B's, and C's letters, look, they've already located a C, so they would use their scissors then to cut out the C. Great fine motor skill to use scissors and cutting. And of course they can't do uh, anything wrong they're using stuff you've already given them, um, don't have to stay within the lines. That's what we're trying to work on anyway, and having fun. So, and then they would try to match them to the page, and then they would glue them to the page. Okay. So don't discount fine motor skills for gluing and pasting as well. You may want to start them out with ones that are already cut out so they get the idea. And then you can use your finger for tracing. If they're already uh, into the transitioning into letter formation, so they could be tracing, or they could use a pen or pencil or marker, and they could trace the letters. While you're talking to them about upper and lower case, you can also talk to them about font. Like when they get to the letter M, they may say, but that doesn't look like an M. And you could talk about size and font and how some M's are going to look like that, like the M in the McDonald's sign kind of is looking like two arches. So lowercase, uppercase, font, size, um, that all goes into pre-reading skills and it will really help them to recognize letters um, and to be able then to form the letters and then to put the letters together into words. You may say, oh this is our A page. Let's find some words in the magazine that start with A. And you could talk about uh, sounds of letters. So we've got apples. There's my apples. So you could show them letter, proper letter formation, and let them practice as well. So that's our activity for the ABCs today. I'm sure you can think of many more. And I uh, hope you have fun with it. And that's the main goal. Have fun while they're learning. For more alphabet fun, check out these great books. All these titles and more are available at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries for checkout today. For more information, please go to the link below. 90% of brain growth happens before kindergarten, 90%. So talk, sing, read, write, and play with your child every day. Those five simple steps build the foundation for a lifetime of learning.